so if you had everything that you wanted um if you create the exact life that you wanted like we've been saying do you believe that there would be as much agony as much depression as much mental health problems in all those different ways do you think there'd be much antisocial behavior do you think that if our inner ethics were based around love compassion and kindness for one another do you think those jealousy insecurity the fear programs would still exist do you think if everybody followed the principles and was taught in schools and was taught in communities and was socially brought together in a way that we belong, that we're loved and we're cared for and we're supported? Do you think that there would be so many issues in life? Do you think we would be so mentally unstable and unhappy in our lives if we had everything that we needed in terms of fulfillment of self, in terms of happiness and joy? Do you think we would need all the material things if we were so happy with what we had because we were so fulfilled within ourselves because there was no void to fill? The void needs to be filled because we don't have the inner strength, we don't have the willpower, we don't have what's been hidden we don't have this this way of being in life we have to struggle we've been taught we have to work hard we have to struggle we have to do things we don't want to do we have to do this and we have to have these you know social norms which we all have to meet up to and if we don't meet up to it and if we're not there by a certain age bracket if we're not there by a certain time um if we don't have this amount of money, if we don't have this, then we're, we're constantly living a life of chaos. And we're not actually living life, right? We're just absolutely being led by everything external. We're never looking internal because we don't have time. And when we do, we're exhausted. It's not right. And I think it's like about time we start to say to ourselves, this isn't right, this isn't the way I want to live my life. Is it the way that you want to live your life? Do you feel stressed? Do you feel uncertain? Do you feel like what, you know, you're stepping into the unknown all the time and you're not prepared for it? Why are you not prepared for it? Because we're never taught the foundations of love, compassion and kindness. We're never taught how to treat one another, how to lead one another with strength, how to communicate with one another in social situations, how to really be truly honest and open and vulnerable to each other. So we block, we hide we stress, we turn inward in, in pain and we, we ask ourselves, why is nothing going our way? Why are we reacting like that? Why am I behaving that way with that person? Why can't I do this? Because there's something within us that's happened in our lives which we haven't got over, we haven't healed, we haven't gotten to the source of the problem. And until we get to the source of that problem, until we fill that void... Until we fulfill ourselves with the love, with the compassion and with the kindness, with mindfulness, you know, then then we're never going to be able to fully heal. And it's a spiritual journey. And that is what I say when I say I'm on a spiritual journey. It's that healing. It's that opening. It's that honesty. It's the vulnerability. It's being completely bare with your soul you know, and it's working with it, it's listening to it, it's going within, it's understanding your body, your mind, the separation between that, what it does, how it reacts to you, it's understanding that there is much more to life than this 3D thing that you are viewing right now, like there is an extreme amount of potential that you have, that you can reach, that you can be a master of, extreme amounts. We just have to know that. And deep down, we know that, right? We know there's more. 
We know there's more and that's why we're in pain because we're living a life we don't want to live and we're angry about it. We're angry about it because we're here once and we, we're being forced and pressured into a life which we we don't want to live most of the time. You know, some people out there might be living the best life ever and that's amazing. And they've probably created that life themselves, right? But for others, it doesn't always go that way. And we can't live in victim mode anymore. We can't live by feeling sorry for ourselves. We have to take action. We have to do things. We have to step outside of ourselves. We have to see the bigger picture here. The bigger picture. Go above. Go above and look down. See how you're behaving. See how you are. How are you to others? How are you to yourself? Why, why are you feeling the things that the way you're feeling? And where in your body are you feeling them? What's going on? Because I know if we had this fulfillment within ourselves, we'd be wanting no more. Because we wouldn't need any more because our wholeness has been revealed to us. The wholeness that has been there all along, this knowing, this lack that we don't have, we feel lost, we feel uncertain, we don't know where we're going, we don't know who we are, we don't know what we're going to do, what happens if all this bad stuff happens, what happens if I can't do well in this business, what happens if this, what happens if that, oh my gosh, chaos, right? How do I look after my family? How do I provide? How do I bring strength? I love you guys. Talk soon.